I want to welcome, bring in Alan Dershowitz, Harvard Law Professor, Emeritus Defense Attorney, author of Electile Dysfunction, A Guide for Unaroused Voters. Alan, we heard President Trump is, is in Israel. We heard him using very strong words toward terrorists as he's standing next to Mahmoud Abbas this morning. Yeah. He Some remarks at the Holocaust Memorial. Uh, Yad Vashem earlier, and he's going to be speaking at the is at the uh, museum uh, in a short while. We're expecting more extended remarks from him there. What do you make of the very strong showing we've seen so far as he's standing with Benjamin Netanyahu and the people of Israel? Not strong enough. President Trump should have looked Abbas in the face and said, "Mr. Abbas, if this had been a Palestinian terrorist and he had blown up." Israeli or Jewish children, you'd be paying his family a large amount of money as a bonus. How dare you incentivize, reward, and incite terrorism? Because if you pay rewards for terrorists who are Palestinians, that message is sent to terrorists in England. And they expect rewards. Some of them expect them in heaven, some of them expect them on earth. How dare you promote terrorism? and claim that you're a man of peace. Would any president do that, though? I would hope so. I would hope so. That that's what has to, it may not be said in public, but it has to be said in, in private. The idea that a man who wants to be the president of his country would actually pay rewards to the families of terrorists, saying to poor people, if you want to help your family, there's a way to help your family. Blow up children and we'll reward you. And imams who say, that if you blow up children, you'll get rewarded in heaven. That cannot continue. The incentivizing and incitement of terrorism has to stop, whether it's by Iran or whether it's by the Palestinian Authority. Are, are you saying and, that? And I, ju I just want to point out really quickly that we're looking at these pictures from the Israel Museum. The first family has been seated. There you see First Lady Melania Trump entering the room. Uh, we're waiting for President Trump to step up to the podium to deliver some extended remarks. Uh, John, really quickly. Well, so I'm giving you a strong word. Should the president have met with Abbas in the first place? Well, he should have met with him. You meet with everybody. Uh, you try to make peace. You try to make Abbas do something to change his policies. I suspect the president has had conversations with him about that because I know that President Trump is very upset about the Palestinian Authority's policy of paying terrorists.